The goal of a successful trader is to make the best trades. Money is secondary. If this surprises you, think how good professionals in any field operate. Good teachers, doctors, lawyers, farmers, and others make money, but they do not count it while they work. If they do, the quality of their work suffers. If you ask your doctor how much money he earned today, he won't be able to answer, and if he can, you do not want him for a doctor. Ask your lawyer how much money he made today. He may have a general idea that he put in some billable hours, but not exactly how many dollars he made. If he counts money while he works, you do not want him for a lawyer. A real pro devotes all his energy to practicing his craft the best he can, not to counting money. Counting money in a trade flashes a red light, a warning that you are about to lose because your emotions are kicking in and they will override your intellect. That is why it is a good idea to get out of a trade if you cannot get money off your mind. Concentrate on quality, on finding trades that make sense, and having a money management plan that puts you in control. Focus on finding good entry points and avoid gambles. Then the money will follow almost as an afterthought. You may count it later, well after a trade is over. A good trader must focus on finding and completing good trades. A professional always studies the markets, looks for opportunities, hones his money management skills, and so on. If you ask him how much money he made on the current trade, he will have only a general idea of being a little or a lot ahead of the game or a little behind. He can never be a lot behind because of tight stops. Like other professionals, he focuses on practicing his craft and polishing his skills. He does not count money in a trade. He knows that he will make money as long as he does what is right in the markets. If you use indicators for finding trades, use them also to get you out of trades. If your indicators are in gear with the market when it is time to buy or go short, use them to decide when it is time to sell or to cover. A trader often becomes emotionally attached to a trade. Profits give people a high, but even a loss can tingle the nerves, like a scary but exciting ride on a roller coaster. When those indicator signals that flagged a trade disappear, get out of the market fast regardless of your feelings. Some traders try to establish profit targets. They want to sell strength when prices hit resistance or buy weakness when prices reach support. Elliott wave theory is the main method for trying to forecast reversal points. R. N. Elliott wrote several articles about the stock market and a book, Nature's Law. He believed that every movement in the stock market could be broken into waves, smaller waves, and subwaves. Those waves explained every turning point and occasionally allowed him to make correct predictions. Those analysts who sell advisory services based on Elliott's methods always come up with so-called alternate counts. They explain everything in hindsight, but are not reliable in dealing with the future. Fibonacci numbers and their ratios, especially 1.618, 2.618, and 4.236, express many relationships in nature. As Trudy Garland writes in her lucid book, Fascinating Fibonacci's, these numbers express the ratios between the diameters of neighboring spirals in a seashell and in a galaxy, the number of seeds in the adjacent rows of a sunflower, and so on. Elliot was the first to point out that these relationships also apply to the financial markets. Tony Plummer describes in his book, Forecasting Financial Markets, how he uses Fibonacci ratios to decide how far a breakout from a trading range is likely to carry. He measures the height of a trading range, trades in the direction of a breakout, and then looks for reversal targets by multiplying the height of the range by Fibonacci numbers. Experienced traders combine profit targets with other technical studies. They look for indicator signals at the projected turning points. If indicators diverge from a trend that is approaching a target, it reinforces the signal to get out. 
Trading on targets alone can be a tremendous ego boost, but the markets are too complex to be handled with a few simple numbers.